as you listen to your word. The wish us with sacred story till we claim it as our own. Teach us through this holy pamphlet how to make love's victory known. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask a blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. I, Daniel, found my spirit anguish within its covering of flesh, and I was terrified by the visions of my mind. I approached one of those present and asked him what all this meant in truth. In answer, he made known to me the meaning of the things. These four great beasts stand for four kingdoms, which shall arise on the earth. But the only ones of the Most High shall receive the kingship to possess it forever and ever. But I wish to make certain about the fourth beast so very terrible and different from the others, devouring and crashing with its iron teeth and bronze claws, and trampling with its feet what was left. But the ten horns on its head, and the other one that sprung up, before which three horns fell, about the horn with the eyes and the mouth that spoke arrogantly, which appeared greater than its fellows. For as I watch, that horn made war against the holy ones and was victorious until the ancient one arrived. Judgment was pronounced in favor of the holy ones of the Most High, and the time came when the holy ones possessed the kingdom. He answered me thus, the fourth beast shall be a fourth kingdom on the earth, different from all the others, but it shall devour the whole earth, beat it down and crush it. The ten horns shall be ten kings rising out of that kingdom. Another shall rise up after them, different from those before him who shall lay low three kings. He shall speak against the Most High and oppress the Holy Ones of the Most High, thinking to change the feast days and the law. They shall be handed over to him for a year, two years, and half a year. But when the court is convened and his power is taken away, 
by final and absolute destruction. Then the kingship and dominion and majesty of all the kingdoms under the heavens shall be given to the holy people of the Most High, whose kingdom shall be everlasting. All dominions shall serve and obey Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. You sons of men, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Please stand. vigilant at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that they catch you by surprise like a trap, for that they will assault everyone who lives in the, on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent to stand before the Son of Man. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today, we are celebrating the last day ng calendar year. So bukas, bago na po ang season natin, Advent season na po panimula ng bagong calendar year ng simbahan, liturgical calendar year ng simbahan. So nagbabago na. Kaya kung mapapansin ninyo, kung kayo po nagsisimba for the past days, halos lahat ng mga ibanghelyo ay napapatungkol sa end of times. Paghahanda, pagtatapos ng mundo, pagbabalik ni Kristo. Ganun po ang mga tema. And some of it are apocalyptic in nature. So ganun. End of Times, Judgment Day. Meron akong nabasa na isang quotation na magandang ishare at dadagdagan ko na rin. Sabi doon, If you don't want to have regrets for the rest of your life, have no regrets at the end of each day. If you don't want to have regrets for the rest of your life, have no regrets at the end of each day. Dadagdagan ko po. Live each day with faith, with hope, with love, and with gratitude. Para pag dumating si Lord, handa tayong harapin siya. Paghahanda. Today's Gospel reading is all about being vigilant, being ready. And there's a warning. Be careful. Dito kasi sinasabi dito yung carousing and drunkenness. Baka tayo po ay nahumaling masyado sa ating ginagawa. Dito yung karaos ng drunkenness, yung kain. Sobrang kain at pag-iinom. In a literal sense, on a literal sense, 
literal ha, yung sobrang kain, masama sa katawan yan, okay man kumain, di ba? Ang sarap kumain. Lalo na pagkalibre, ay naku, ang sarap kumain, lalo na pagkalibre. Masarap uminom, masarap din. Lalo na pagkalibre. Pero ang sinasabi sa atin ng Diyos, baka makalimutan ninyo, ang tinatawag kasi dito is carousing with pleasures. Pleasures of life. It may be eating, drinking. Mag-ingat kayo na baka malasing kayo. Maaring sa alak. But on a deeper sense, ito po. Baka kasi masyado tayong nahumaling at nag enjoy sa mga, sabi nga dito eh, sa mga makamundong bagay na nakakalimutan na natin ang espiritual na bagay. Kasi kung minsan kapag tayo po'y nag enjoy baka makaligtaan natin na meron tayong ibang kasama. We become numb of the, of the needs of other people. Minsan nga, isa sa mga masakit na makita sa social media, pictures of family enjoying their meal. Sarap na sarap sila. And yet, hindi nila mabigyan ang kanilang katulong o di kaya driver ng pagpakain. Ng pagkain. Bakit? Ay, nag-enjoy sila. Kapag kami sa kabasado ka, nag enjoy sa buhay, hindi lamang sa pagkain, but it's about life. Sometimes we become numb. Tayo nagiging manhid sa pangailangan ng iba. Maraming ganyan. Ingat-ingat. Sabi ko po, hindi po masama ang kumain. Huwag lang sobra palagi. Magandang, magandang basahin to sa mga nagsasamgyup, no? Mga nagsasamgyup, di ba? daming kinakain. Wala pong masama doon. But make sure na kapag tayo po kain ng kain, inom ng inom, huwag din natin kalimutan at tingnan na meron din palang kailangan ang iba. That is why we should have to, we should live with faith, with love, with gratitude, with generosity. Yun yung paalala sa atin ni Lord. Hindi po masama eh ang kumain at uminom. Sabi dito, drunkenness. Yung pagkalasing, maaring hindi lamang ito sa alak. In a literal sense, maaring sa alak. Pero marami din sa atin ang nalalasing sa kapangyarihan. Nalalasing sa kasikatan. Maraming ganyan. Kaya kapag nalasing ka sa ganun, anong gusto mong gawin? Ayaw mo nang bumaba. Nakakalasing po ang, ano, ang, ang kapangyarihan. Pansin ninyo. Nakakalasing. Kaya nga iba, ayaw nang bumaba. Bahala kayo dyan. nag enjoy ako dito sa taas. And I am very powerful. Gusto natin yung ganun eh. Pansin nyo niya, ako personally, ito, observations to. Kapag ka nasa bangko, sa bangko, minsan matatawa kapag ka you are, na, kapag ka hindi ka pakilala na pare, may isang beses na pumunta ako ng bangko, hindi pa ako kilalang pare, of course, saka hindi ako nagpapakilalang pare agad. No? So, naghintay ako ng isang oras mahigit doon sa bangko. Siyempre, kasi usually sa bangko, di ba yung mga preferred clients? The rich, the famous, and the powerful. Gusto na natin yan. Oh, may hira sabi ko, one hour na ako naghintay dito. Kailan ba ito matatapos? Biglang may dumating na parang mukhang donya. May dadalang bag. Taranta lahat ng mga managers. May di-deposit ako. Ganyan pa. Huh? Okay. Sa loob-loob ko, kanina pala makaw ako dito, wala mo na kasi kaso sa akin. Gusto natin yung gano'n eh, yung essay way. Inong ako na, tinignan sa, tinignan nung ano yung, ay, father. Pare pala kay father. Tapos tinignan niya, ah, kayo ba si father Norman? Paano naka-attend ako ng misa niyo one time? Ako, ah, okay. Tapos ako naman, di, nahihiyan ako. Sabi niya, sabi niya, Father, next time, Father, para madali kayo, magpakilala kayong pare kayo. Sa loob-loob ko, ano gusto mo? Pagpasok ko sa, simba, sa bangko, nakaganito na ako. Para unahin ako, di ba? The rich and the powerful. Palagi kang una. Halos lahat na okasyon, palagi nauna ang pare eh. Pansin ninyo? Gusto mong mauna palagi? 
sa kainan. Pag may blessing, kung ano man, ang unang kakain, ang pari. Kaya kapag may laso ng ang pagkain, ang unang mamatay, ang pari. Drunkenness of power. Gusto mo rin yung famous ka. Kaya data after nung sa bangko, sabi ko doon sa teller eh. Pada, pasensya na kayo ha. Sabi ko, okay lang. Wala man problema sa akin yan. Pero sabi ko sa kanya, alam mo, miss, dito ko naintindihan yung kasabihan na patience is a virtue. Tumawa na lang yung babae, yung teller. Sabi ko, sige, next time po. And I don't really mind. Gusto natin yung, kaya sinasabihan tayo ni Kristo, Be careful! Baka malasing ka sa kapangyarihan at kasikatan na nakakalimutan mo na may katapusan ang lahat. Lahat po may katapusan. In politics, even our very own life. Kapitbahay mo, kung may kapitbahay ka nga na chismosa, huwag kang mag-alala. Mamamatay din yan. Kung meron kang kamag-anak na walang niya, nangaagaw ng lupa, huwag kang mag-alala. Mamamatay din yan. Walang permanente. Yan the Lord is reminding us to be very careful nung ating pinangahawakan. Be careful. Kasi darating ang Diyos na ikaw ba'y busog na busog at nagiging indifferent ka na sa ibang tao? At ikaw ba'y lasing sa kapangyarihan at kasikatan na ayaw mo nang bumaba at ayaw mo nang i-recognize na merong pang mas makapangyarihan sa iyo ang may-ari ng iyong buhay. Isa pang warning sa atin ng Diyos, iyong anxiety, daily life. Kasi kung minsan masyado kang takot, masyadong matatakotin, marami kang worry sa buhay, nakasama na kayo ng isang taon na palagi nag-worry, nakaka-stress. Mahirap yung ganong may kasamang taong ganon, yung lahat na lang. Punta tayo ng manawag, ayoko, bakit? Baka mahawa tayo ng COVID doon. Maraming nagsisimba doon. Yung pare nagmisa, mukhang may COVID. O lahat na lahat, mag-worry ka. Daily, mag-worry ka. Kaya nga, if you want to live life, if you want to enjoy life, live with life with gratitude, with hope, and with faith. Kasi sabi nga ni Lord eh, do not be afraid. Even the numbers of your hairs are counted. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng bilang ni Lord yung ating buhok. Di ba? Imagine mo, ganun kakamahal ng Diyos. Pero sa mga walang buhok na dito, madali nang bilangin yan. Ganun kakamahal. And, and why worry? Natural lang po mag-worry. Pero kapag ka palagi kang nag-worry palagi, nako, good luck. At sa pa sa mga dahilan kung bakit tayo nag-worry, ito isa pa. Na-stress sa buhay. Because we tend to compare our life with other people. Gusto mo ma-stress sa buhay? Madali lang. Compare your life with other people. At tumihin ka sa social media, mabubwisit ka. Bakit si ano ang dami ng ano, ang dami ng ano? Gusto niyo ma-stress sa buhay? Napakadali lang. Compare your life with other people. Gusto mo mababawasan ang stress mo? Be grateful of what you have. Tandaan nyo ito. We are blessed differently and uniquely. Iba-iba ang blessings natin. And the moment you compare and you try to say, Lord, bakit si ano mas maraming ano? Hayaan mo yun. Mas marami din problema yun. Hindi ba? Kaya kung gusto niyong mamuhay na walang regret sa buhay, be loving, be faithful, be hopeful, be grateful. Ganun lang ang buhay. Para pagdating ni Lord, Norman, time's up, tama ang buhay mo, lasing ka ba? Hindi po ako lasing, Lord. Ready akong sumama sa iyo agad-agad. Busog ka ba? Uh, Tama-tama lang, Lord. I watch my diet. And I give some to other people. Stress ka ba sa buhay? Hindi naman, because ako po yung naniniwala na with all your love, your mercy, kahit makasalanan ako, tatanggapin mo ako. 
Ganun. Kasi pagdating ng ating panahon, nakuni na tayo ni Lord, which is, hindi natin alam kung kailan. Pag dumating man yun, pero kapag ka namuhay ka na walang regrets, every day of your life, because you live, you live with love, with hope, and with faith, and with gratitude to the Lord, you can face the Creator and say, Lord, thank you. I have enjoyed my life, and the people around me are also enjoying with me. Di ba mas masarap na feeling yun? Kaysa na pag dumating sila, sasabihin mo, Lord, sandali lang, hindi pa ako handa. You just have to choose. Di ba? Let us all stand. We pray to God our Father to help us prepare for the coming of the Lord into our world and into our lives. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may not fall short in reminding the faithful concerning the need of vigilance, prayer, and good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may not fail to recognize the coming of Christ in those whom we meet in the course of our day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show compassion to those who are experiencing difficulties in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the old, the lonely, and the sick may feel the healing presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the dead may meet Christ on their heavenly journey. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for our personal intentions, and we also pray for all those who will be traveling today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, give us a new vision as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good in the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you give us through her the, the author of our salvation. 
with your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you call on Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say...
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I keep you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the soul to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer of credo of stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies who has chosen me to be steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church, in spite of who I am and what I have done, and in spite of infidelities he knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus. Because love is the only way to holiness. 
Giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the one. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few. For I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now pray for the blessing of rosaries and other articles and images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.